I know it's like it's a sassy song and it can definitely be taken as someone who's um like congratulating themselves. For me it wasn't that. It was that I hadn't felt like pride before in my work and I think it's really important to cultivate that in yourself. Otherwise, you know, why are you making art if you don't think it's it's like of value? When I started writing the song, I had this caption, why be a wallflower when you can be a Venus flytrap? And I love that because it spoke to a habit in me, which is to make myself small to make other people feel comfortable. I don't think any of us are here to do that. You know, we're all here to live life boldly, authentically, in whatever way that means to us. Whatever you give life, you will get back. Why be a wallflower when you can be a Venus flytrap? Beyond the song, it's more about feeling self-ownership. And, you know, it's taken me five records to get to that point, at least creatively as an artist. I've not had a predictable career. It's not been based really on, you know, having radio hits or um, having, like, consistent commerciality. It really affects the career path of an artist when they have this like dichotomy between being pretty much an alternative artist but function functioning in like a pop cultural way and that's led to a lot of confusion but I'm definitely at a point where I'm at peace with that and I can see that it's a strength now it's not like a weakness I never quite fit into that Hollywood thing I didn't play that game For the money or the fame I did in my way, baby Nothing in this world could change me I think the Hollywood thing is like feeling like you belong in in your industry You're very much expected by record labels and people you work with when you start out to do things a certain way and that takes away your your intuitive approach, which might be a lot better. Listing all these things that I didn't do it for, like money, fame, etc. What I did do it for was self-expression and freedom. I think I realized that, that nothing can change me just through time and experience. You know, if, if I'm on my like fifth record and I'm still able to make the music that I love and believe in, it's gonna be pretty much impossible to make me into something I'm not at this stage. Don't underestimate me, cause one day you're gonna see you're in a losing battle, baby, you'll never stop me being me. My last record was very different. It was quite like um, clean, like electronic production. And part of my fan base loved it. And part were just like, this is not Marina. Like we want her raw, crazy whatever side, the noise of the internet can feel so much bigger than it is sometimes, but it affects people. It's hard to operate without uh, being affected by what people think. So don't underestimate me is definitely directed towards the internet. <laughs> I got the beauty, got the brains, got the power, hold the reins. I should be motherfucking crazy. Nothing in this world could change me. I wrote that because growing up as a young woman, you're taught to um, to like play down the, the way that you look or your good qualities. The way that we're born, we have no control over anyway, but it's nice, you know, however you look and however you, you are to appreciate that. And again, you know, it's definitely like a new feeling for me. I use songwriting to manifest things a lot. I have since the very beginning. I sacrificed it all for a life to call mine. All the love and security to be myself, oh why? I feel like I sacrificed a, uh, a lot of close relationships when I was younger. There were key relationships in my life which I you know, put my foot down about because at the time what was at stake was whether I was going to follow this career path or not. And for me, I just absolutely no way would let anything get in my way. But there's a price to pay for that. I know the money ain't important and it don't mean you're the best, but I earn it all myself and I'm a millionaire. I did it in my way, baby. Nothing in this world could change me. I 
wasn't sure whether to include that line because we have all gone through such a difficult time and some people way more than others. I never want to feel uh, like I'm like braggy. But the point of that line <laughs> is money isn't the be all end all. It's not going to make you happy. Material stuff won't either. But it's a kind of cultural signifier of success. I was a little nervous about it because I feel like when women talk about money or like celebrating it, they get a totally different reaction to when men do. I think people need to realize that part of equality is having financial independence, you know, worldwide for women. They'll shame you, blame you, pretend to even hate you. Take away your rights, pacify you with their lies. Whatever you give life, you're gonna get back. Why be a wallflower when you can be a Venus flytrap? Shame is such an easy tool to use to get people, particularly minorities, to shut up, basically. And, you know, that also leads to how our political system works. So it definitely speaks to, I don't want, even want to like say his name, but the, the president before Joe Biden. Don't underestimate me, me, cause one day you're gonna see You're in a losing battle, babe, you'll never stop me being me Cause whatever you give life, you're gonna get back Why be a wallflower when you can be a Venus flytrap? I brought that line back around because it's kind of, um, it's like a resolve, it's the solution to what I'm talking about. It like caps it off in a nice, neat way. And I try to do that, not with every song, but with with a song like this, it feels like satisfying to reinforce that message. Nothing in this world. Ooh, nothing in this world could change me. Me. <laughs> Honestly, it's very much subconscious like when I'm writing whether I decide to end it with an ad lib like on this song or like a completely different melody that hasn't occurred in the song before. I think it's all about mood and tone and for myself when I was finishing writing that song I wanted it to feel like foreboding and dark like you should be careful. <laughs> Many of us growing up we we feel like we're not allowed to be ourselves or we have to behave in certain ways to get security or love or validation. And I think in adulthood, or part of adulthood is really ironing that out so that you can have freedom, personal freedom. <laughs>